Hey friend, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to paint the cutest little ladybug. Uh, I painted one of these on my Instagram the other day and people freak out. So we decided to bring it here to the YouTubes for a tutorial. And I'm only using one brush for the whole ladybug, just the size 16, big fat size 16 round brush that we link to all of my supplies in the descriptions of all of our videos but it's the size 16 one that I'll be using in this in this tutorial today. And he has cute little scrawny wiggly legs that we're using for the size 16 as well. So if you're ready to paint this cute little critter, then let's dive in. All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to paint a cutie little ladybug like this one. So cute. Really simple, really loose. I'm gonna use my size 16 brush for the whole thing, even the skinny legs and antenna. Um, and it's just two colors, Scarlet Lake and Mars Black. So to start, we're gonna start with the body of the bug. I don't sketch this out because the loose, the looser and the wonkier the ladybug, the cuter, <laughs> the cuter it is. So. We're going for these half moon shapes for the wings or whatever they are. There's a little shield and to make a circle. So I'm just gonna eyeball kind of where center is. Hopefully it works out that way, but, um, and then draw a line or paint a line with Scarlet Lake on my brush for one side. And then I'm just gonna bring it out. I've got a really thick amount of Scarlet Lake on my brush because I love the dry brush texture for this. And I'm gonna leave some of those kind of loose ends at the bottom open like that. I want it to be a little bit wider. Love that texture. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of water and some more Scarlet Lake. And some parts of these two sides will connect, some parts they'll be not touching to show the separate sides. But we're just trying to mirror what we did, not perfectly, but mirror what we did on the left for the right side, size-wise. So, so they're not a perfect mirror, but we've got the overall shape of the body of our ladybug. And while this is still wet, I'm gonna rinse that off and grab some Mars Black. And we're gonna start with the neck and body of the ladybug. Got some Mars Black. I'm gonna use about a 15 degree angle hold on my size 16 brush. I'm just literally going to bring this across for a little disc. That black bleeding into the red is cute and nice. And then I might get rid of some of that pigment and do some wet on wet for the head. Just a smaller half moon shape. And then we can use the tip of the size 16 brush and bring out the antenna. So I'm gonna use a vertical hold on my brush with little to no pressure and bring out some antenna. The wonkier, the better. And then we've got some legs coming out right here. Just trying to eyeball how long this one on this side was and the placement. But again, it's not gonna be perfect, which makes it cute. And then we'll go down to it right about here for another set of legs.
and then down here. Ladybug. Now we're waiting for this red to dry and then we can place our dots. All right, now that that's dry, I'm gonna grab Mars Black, a thick amount of Mars Black on my brush, my size 16 brush. And I'm not doing perfect circles for these dots or spots. I'm just gonna use the side of my brush. So angling it at like 35 degrees, and just doing a little blob, blob. And mixing up my placement and trying to mirror image that on each side. Cute. And there you have a little ladybug. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was fun for you. A little quick, fun critter. Um, now I just wanna paint ladybugs all day long instead of actually doing my job. Uh, so you can find me in my studio painting a bunch of ladybugs buried in bugs. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you'd like to see more bug tutorials, hit me up in the comments below with maybe caterpillar next time or moths or whatever your ideas are. I would love, love, love to paint some more bugs for you guys. Do some more critter tutorials, ritter critters. Um, and as always, thank you so much for your support, for liking this video, for commenting below and for subscribing to our channel. Every bit of button clicking and engagement means the world to us and it helps us, it helps support our channel. Um, and it's so easy for you to do, uh, like and comment and subscribe. So it means the world. Thank you so much for all the engagement. It helps us get these videos out to more people. So I will see you in the next video. Let me know what crater you wanna see next. Bye.